What's going on guys? It's Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer, and I'm back with yet another weapon review from Ubisoft's fastest selling title of all time, The Division. Today is review number 78, and will feature the 229 Gear Score G36C Assault Rifle. But before we get into the review, here's some basic stats and in-game weapon info for you on the G36C. The country of origin is Germany. The rate of fire is 750 rounds per minute. The magazine is 30 rounds. The fire type is full auto only, and the reload speed is 2.30 seconds. The G36, originally named Project 50, or HK50, was designed from the ground up to be a modern 5.56mm assault rifle that entered service in 1997. Heckler & Koch designed the G36 as a replacement for the older 7.62mm G3 battle rifle, and it fires from a closed rotary bolt and employs a free-floating barrel. The G36C, with the C meaning compact, entered service in January 2001 and features a shorter barrel than the carbine variant, the G36K. The sub-carbine G36C sports a barrel of just 9 inches, or 228 millimeters, and due to this extremely short length, many of the weapon's internals had to be reworked. Namely, the designers were forced to move the gas block closer to the muzzle end and reduce the length of the gas piston operating rod. I received my 229 Gear Score G36C assault rifle from a sealed cache after completing an underground mission on challenge mode and have been waiting for a suitable version to review. My model came equipped with Deadly, Prepared, and the standard G36 talent of Focused and featured a damage stat of 7219 before mods along with 20% damage to enemy armor. I reviewed the classic G36 back in weapon review number 74 and remember it to be a beast, even though it was nerfed by 15% after outcries from the gaming community that it was OP. With that being said, I have been looking for both an enhanced and C models to review and have not come across a 229 gear score variant until now. The G36C, although listed as an assault rifle, fires and behaves much more like an SMG and it really reminds me of the Steyr AUG A3. With base stats of 44 accuracy, 37 stability, and an optimal range of 32 meters, the G36C starts with above average stats for the AR classification and only gets better through the use of weapon mods. I am currently specced out as a tank titian for tackling in-game incursions, and since my firearms are so low, only the focus talent was unlocked. Even so, I found the G36C a joy to take into combat, and it is now my go-to weapon of choice for close quarters combat. I experimented with many different setups and found the G36C to handle most of them with ease, even when I cranked up my fire rate to over 900 rounds per minute. With the increased RPM, the weapon does start to show some higher vertical recoil characteristics, but it's nothing a little feathering of the trigger can't handle. My suggestions would center around equipped skills and ammo. I found that running a heavy skill build with pulse helps greatly to boost the weapon's damage output. In addition, a high percentage mag mod is needed as the G36C, especially with the increased fire rate, can rip through a mag. An insider tip would be to equip the police backpack when restocking to take on even more available ammunition and keep you in the fight for even longer. I'm going to rate the 229 Gear Score G36C Assault Rifle a strong 5 out of 5 stars. It really reminds me of the AUG A3, which I still love, but with a little bit more vertical recoil. SMGs have always been so strong in the division, and this is really an SMG that has been classified as an assault rifle. However, since it is in the AR classification, it receives slightly higher headshot damage multipliers than an SMG. It really embodies the best of both weapon types into a truly enjoyable weapon to take into high-level missions. As always, I would love to hear your thoughts on this weapon and my review. Feel free to leave your opinions in the comments section below. In addition, if you could take the time to rate the video with either a thumbs up or down, it would be greatly appreciated. If you want some more Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer and my weapon reviews in your life, follow me on Twitter at LTBuzzLightbeer. I am very proud of all the work I have put into my entire The Division Weapon Review playlist, and it really is the most comprehensive and accurate Division Weapon Review playlist on YouTube. I will leave a link in the description below to the entire Division Weapon Review playlist, and remember for my channel, likes, comments, subs are loved. Until my next The Division Weapon Review, this has been Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer, saying peace out.